the number 98 car on the outside from Redmond. That's Joe Hancock. Inside row number two, the number 12 car, your current point leader with five wins, Randy Ridge. 55, Carl Munich, the 18 car of Doug Adams and the 15. That is Randy Vaughn, and car number 21, currently fifth in the point standings with three wins, Jay Smith.
Perkins and Glenn Ward and what a back truck and equipment service. Santana Trucking Gambler from Seattle, 59 years old, Larry Gable. Third and final heat race for the popular 360 sprint cars on a beautiful night at Skagit Speedway. Jim Dennis with the green flag. Stretch led by Dennis Army.
Tagati, Atkins Performance, Pickers of the Brothers, Canton Restaurant, Maxfield Diesel Cube Boom of Mount Vernon, Zip 2 and Westside Metal Fab, and Grove City Electric. And the 51 car is for Russ Payne. He's from Burlington. Lights are out. We are ready to go. This is only the second time out for Russ Payne. Sponsored by k and &E Siding, RJ Siding, Hubs, Brakes, Burrow Racing Center, Fletcher Auto Sales, O'Malley Brothers, Plastering, Western Washington Cutting, and JD Racing. The one of Rob Bott, the 66 of Barry Martinez, and the 32 of Tim Curtis as we get this one ready to roll.
standings. He was in the Viber and Dash here last Friday night. Top local finisher here last weekend, Randy Ridge. The 15 car four time winner this year out of Bellingham, the Iceman, Tom Wagoner, Todd Monstroberg, and Shana Wilski in the Rod Bobber John Boy. Charge Tim Levine has made. 
upcoming star here, Travis Hawthorne, will be second in the Evergreen Speed. Of Kelly Graham. 17, John Huggins from Ferndale. 27 of Hassler, the 12. Of Louis Nutter, the 28. Point leader, Rick Smith, the 3. First time here, Randy Mewing, and we go three.
six cars for six laps. Dash cars line up now, please. Dash cars line up now as we get ready to take the green flag. And the 30 of Brad Green. Here now are the trophy dashes. Green flag. Jerry, you've been a little quiet this year. You're sitting ninth in points. What has been going on with Mr. Bundy? Well, it had a lot to do with just uh, the car set up. The car was uh, 22 weeks old any year, last year, and it took us a while to figure it out. We run a little different coilover car in 1994, uh, and it just took, took us some time. And we had some motor problems, and we're getting those ironed out, and the crew's working real hard, and things are coming together. Well, it looks like the boys got it figured out tonight. Yeah, the car's hooked up real well. Just as long as I can, it'll stay that way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Gary Bundy, Wendy of the 360, Wendy, winner of the 360 Trophy Dash. Congratulations. Trophy Dash is underway. Paul Field, the early lead, the two car. drivers their first ever trophy dash and it would be their first ever trophy dash win. Rob Bott tries the inside. for his first ever Trophy Dash victory. Here at Scandon Speedway. In a three and off the floor, checkered flag. He's got it. You can see an ecstatic pit crew down there. As Bob Bott, the whole top, Paul Field, Mike Dills. Nice job, that that is. Good job. Uh, uh, sorry about that. Good job. Job. What, what new was <laughs> And the Rob Lawton fan club growing every week. They all want to jump on board with the winner. Picking up the trophy. Nope, walk right up here, so we get out of the way. Not, Not too far. Let's go back track side of Randy and Rob. Okay, Rob, first thing we're going to do is we're going to roll the dice. One, two, or a three. And don't throw it in the mud. Oh, good job. Roll a three. <laughs> Rob, rumor has it this is your first here. This is. 
Are you excited? Very. very. Are you nervous? Uh, a little bit. Don't be. <laughs> because it's usually tougher on me than it is on you because I get these one-word answers. Okay, so you're not going to do that to me, right? Uh, I don't think so. All right, we got three words in a row now. Um, the uh, initial start on that, it looked a little bit crowded. Uh, were you a little worried? Uh, yeah, I wasn't. I didn't know if he was going to slide up or if I'd get by him, and I just laid on it and went by him. So, well, it looked like whatever you did worked. Yeah. Good, uh, good crew got the car set up for you. Uh, Jim Burrow, I got to thank him for everything that's he's done on the car, and uh, my dad for putting out the funds. My daughter Tasha, Greg Reardon, Marquez Holmes, and uh, my mom. And the driver behind the wheel. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. Lead chassis, Tim Levine. One through four. A four. Well, last week made the dash, made the main, not finish, uh, not a too bad of a finish. Tuesday night, Cottage Grove finished 17th with against some pretty tough competition. Did you feel it was a good week for you? Yeah, it was a real good weekend last weekend. Um, I was a little disappointed with the way I performed Tuesday. I think Kelly had the car better than what I performed, and uh, I felt like I drove the worst race I drove in a long time. But it's, that's all right. I mean, we went down there and we learned something, and I, I want to thank Kelly and everybody for letting me go down there and run their car down there. And, uh, you know, last weekend was a lot of fun, and I enjoyed it a whole bunch. And I don't want to get the wrong idea. I really enjoyed that, but I was a little disappointed with Tuesday. Well, you know, you had three continuous nights of, of racing and then uh, race again on Tuesday night. Um, does that take more preparation as a driver to uh, get yourself mentally prepared? Uh, I don't know if it does or not. Um, we haven't run out of town that much, and it, I don't know, maybe it showed with me down there. But mentally, I think I go into every race prepared pretty well. I, race long enough now where I don't let too many things get to me. At least hopefully I don't once in a while it does, but it's not too bad anymore. Well, I'll tell you, as a fan, uh, we were certainly proud to have you in the dash last week, the only uh, local car and also a uh, good showing in the main, so congratulations. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, and I, I hope everybody enjoyed it as much as we did. We had a good time with it, and it was a lot of fun. Well, I'm sure everybody did. Ladies and gentlemen, Randy Ridge. Bob Westcott. Get it, sir. <laughs> Here to watch you 
the Hold on. Chevrolet Pace Truck slash Trophy Truck here tonight. Cool. Well, Randy Pratt, this guy's been doing this a long time here at Skagit Speedway, but uh, always nice to one see him in the winner's circle. Louie Nutter. All right, Louie, one, one through four. And he rolls a, a one. Boy, I don't know. Jim Dennis, was that a legal roll? That was, legal. That was legal. as legal as it gets. <laughs> Louie says it was legal. Louie, it looks like this guy's got that car really set up tonight. Well, I want to thank uh, Bob Westcott, all the sponsors, the crew, Chuck, Debbie especially, for putting up with us with a really bad year this year, and I think maybe it's going to come together at the end. All right. What has been the difference? A lot. <laughs> Besides a new hot tub somewhere back there. Yeah, I haven't seen the new hot tub yet, but uh, we're going to break it out one of these days. <laughs> All right, well, it looks like uh, the guys get a good job setting the car up for you. You just go out and just have a good time. Thank you, and we will. And I'd like to thank, this is going to sound real strange. Uh, like Louie, we have strange things here all the time. They don't get any stranger than okay. me. I'd like to thank my ex-wife, which is in the stands tonight, Chris Davis, for bringing my two grandsons up to see this. I guess that's not that strange. I think it's pretty nice. Congratulations. Thank you. Chevrolet Pace Truck leading the field around the Speedway 360 main event. What do you think, folks? You ready for this? Looks like we've got an even 18 cars for 25 laps. Again, it's going to be interesting here. Who's going to go into turn one first? Randy Ridge, the 12, or Jay Smith, the 21? Both very, very hot this year.
operation. So if you want a good 360, you might want to take a look at that one. Here we go. Dennis Army clipped him and flipped, and also flipping behind them, it looks like Rod Perkins. What a turn of events in this one. We'll start this race, and away we go.
Okay, can I get all the names and drivers in before we go green? On the pole, the 27 of Randy Barnes, outside front row, the 66 of Barry Martinez. Second row, the 1 of Rob Bott, the 94 of Mike Dills. The 71, Don Thomas. The 2, Paul Field. The 6, Brian Lloyd, the 04, Matt Loving. The 5 car, Russ Johnson, 24. Chad Hillier. E, Dale Knutson, 25. Jeff Flint, the 93, Jim Sharostin, 32. Jim Curtis, the 29 of Steve James. Here's Randy Pratt in the pit. Number six car, Brian Loy, wants to send out a special thanks to uh, Matt Lazari and Rainier Refractors for keeping the drive alive. Thanks, Matt.
Chad Hilliard. Gilbert, John Youngquist on the front row. Phil Zevo and Otto Jorgensen in the second row. Tim Levine, Randy Ridge, Travis Hawthorne, Shauna Wilski, Tom Wagoner, Kirk Fellers, Alan Mott, Brewster Wheatley, Clint Houston, Pat Kewitt, Travis Cram, and Todd Von Strober. 25 laps of racing. the yellow in the fourth turn. I think he's got 410 meter event. Back underway.
ago he finished second last weekend leading the c-main on the final lap involved with the lap car it didn't happen last week it happens tonight for the 26 year old driver from everett washington travis hawthorne we'll wait for him to climb out of the car down there randy will bring him out front ladies and gentlemen boys and girls Again, what a contrast to last week. He pulls it off tonight, $1,200 in his first ever win, Travis Hawthorne. Well, Travis, from running wingless to running with the outlaws to your first feature, you have got to be one excited guy. Yeah, we've come a long way in the past month, month and a half, and the crew's really turned this car around. They give me a car I can work with, and it's easy from there. All i got to do is sit and drive it. Well, it wasn't that easy. It's not like you started on the pole. No, we didn't start on the pole, but, I mean, that car was stuck to the bottom and everybody was drifting up, and it was just a great car, and luck was with us tonight. All right, who are those guys that uh, put this thing on the track for you? That's my crew, Ron, Brett, Rodney, and Fred. They, they do a heck of a job. Well, I'd say they did a mighty fine job tonight, as well as the driver. Ladies and gentlemen, give him a big hand. Travis Hawthorne. Lap should be a good one. Chuck Decker, Gene Watts. Dan Hassler wants a win. Bob Westcott, first time here in a while. John Huggins, Kelly Graham, Ron Holtrip, Kevin Loy, Charlie Severson, Rick Smith, Mel Decker.
with us. He's been doing a lot of racing down in Oregon. There he is from Clinton, Washington, Bob Westcott. All right, Bob, go ahead. Tell everybody what's under the hood. I thought you'd like to do that, Randy. Nah, I'll give you the thunder. 275 cubic inch V6. Chevrolet 4.3 V6. This baby was just flat flying. Yeah. I want to thank my sponsor back here, Rich, from Action Auto. Without him, it wouldn't have been possible. Nichols Brothers Boat Builders. Um, all of them. They're good guys. They've helped us a lot. You want to just walk around the side of the car so you don't forget anybody? Oh, no, that's okay. You think you got them all? Okay, I see probably you. don't, but what the heck. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, Bob, you know, you and I were talking earlier, and uh, uh, we had talked about a, uh, a slick track, and the track went slick, and you were able to just practically hold this thing down and just power all the way around the track. Yeah, the uh, swing arm Raybirds work real good on the bottom of the racetrack. Well, I'd say the driver didn't do too bad of a job either. Congratulations. Well, thank you, Randy. I appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob Westcott. Yo. That was first of all the uh, first the uh, wingless show, then of course running with the world of outlaws, and now your uh, first feature win. You got to be one excited guy. Yeah, it was uh, quite a night. Nice, uh, you know, I can't say enough about the crew. The guys are the un. They don't get any footage of it, and they spend hours during the week getting the car ready. And they have the car there tonight. And you know, when you just got to sit there and drive it, it makes it a lot easier. I mean, it's not an easy job by any means, but it's a lot easier when you got a good car. And everybody's car was drifting up, and mine was sticking right to the bottom, and it was coming off the corner good. And it just happened for us tonight. Well, my memory serves me correctly. You started in the eighth uh, position and were able to uh, move forward through the uh, traffic. And uh, I don't remember exactly what lap it was when you took the lead, but it must have taken a little bit of doing getting up towards the front. Yeah, it was about midway through we came up to the front, and I I was sitting in third, and I saw uh, Butch Gilbert and John Youngquist. They got together here on the front straightaway, and I thought we were all going to get collected there for a second, and they both drifted up, and I got underneath them, and, I mean, the car was just there tonight. I can't say enough for the crew. They, they've, they've done their job, and all I had to do was sit there and do mine. Well, I'd say you've done a heck of a job. Your first uh, feature win. It's been an exciting couple of weeks for you. Congratulations. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Travis Hawthorne. Do an interview for the uh, tape. Oh, okay. okay. Ladies and gentlemen, here with uh, Bob Westcott, uh, feature winner tonight in the uh, Skagit Outlaw Late Model Group, and uh, first feature win with this uh, Chevy-powered V6, and uh, that's got to be a pretty exciting feeling for you. Well, they all said it wasn't going to work for us, Randy, but um, looks like it did. Well, you, uh, your crew was able to get this car hooked up on the bottom of the uh, track, and it looked like you were able to, uh, you had a pretty good uh, race going with Gene Kwan's there for a while, and uh, Gene uh, started drifting up, and you were able to just power right underneath him. That's right, and um, I'm kind of surprised that the V6 actually had enough power to out-pull him on the straightaway. That really surprised even me. Well, you know, we had talked earlier about uh, dry, slick conditions as we had in the corners here. Of course, straightaways are still tacky, but uh, it looked like not having overpowering, you were able to uh, get into the corners and get out of them straight. Most assuredly, and that is where the advantage is with the V6. Well, I noticed uh, Gene Kwans was drifting up high and uh, was really having a lot of problems getting off the uh, corners, but it uh, looks like the crew did a good job setting this car up for you. They really did. They did an outstanding job. Those guys work hard, and uh, I'm happy to be here again. Well, congratulations. It was a heck of a run. Thanks, Randy. <laughs> well, here with uh, Randy Ridge again. Uh, I don't know. This is what, uh, six feature wins tonight, and uh, I'll tell you, this car was just hooked up. Yeah, it was working good. Um, we experimented the last three or four weeks with the car and tried running some different stagger and stuff like that, and I'd had enough of that after <laughs> after the last race we ran about sixth, and I told Bubba, take that stagger tire and shove it in the front of the trailer, I never want to see it again. So <laughs> anyway, I went back to the old stuff and, and made a couple little changes here and there, and the car worked good, and it felt like the same old car again, so I think we'll just leave it alone and keep working with that. Well, I'll tell you, the uh, Dwayne Lane's Dodge uh, crew must have done a heck of a job tonight, too, getting the car set up for you. They've been doing a super job all year long. I mean, I wouldn't trade those guys for anybody. They uh, they work hard. I don't, you know, I'm probably one of the few drivers that can say this, but I don't work on that car at all during the week. All I do is build the wings and things like that if we need them. Hopefully we don't need them because then I screwed up. But other than that, them guys take care of that car. And Saturday morning they call me up. She's ready to go. And, and I come to the track, and Bub and the guys just do a super job, and it's ready to race. And, I, you know, I, I think I got an advantage that way because... 
I don't have to work on the car, and I, you know, there's not too many guys that can can say that. And it's and it's a real pleasure to drive that car and have have that kind of a pit crew. Well, it was a heck of a run tonight, uh, multiple wins, and uh, the season uh, closing closing down on us uh, rapidly. What are the future plans for Randy Ridge? Well, I don't I don't know yet uh, what the future plans are. I'd uh, I'll, I'll run my own car next year if I have to. I'd rather not, for obvious reasons. Um, being a car owner is too stressful for me. But uh, and I don't I think Kelly may be uh, taking time to run with his son up at Deming and stuff like that, which is a good move on his part. I think if if that's what he wants to do, I I can understand 100 percent. I'm 100 percent behind whatever Kelly does. He uh, he's been a great car owner for me and and treated me real well. And um, this track will miss him. If he's not here, it will miss him. He's a super guy and a good car owner, and he's good for the sport. But uh, I'll be looking for a 410 ride if he doesn't run. And I hope I get one, and I hope there's somebody out there that will have me. But um, otherwise, uh, we'll be a 360 car next year. And if there's a 360 car to drive, I'll drive one of them too. But if I have to, I'll run my own. Well, it was a heck of a run tonight. Uh, congratulations again. Thank you very much.